Well, I think it's about time that I brought in the grapes. So, if it's the latest I've ever left them. But it's time for them to come in now. And uh, yeah, I'll see what we get. Well, that's uh, one, two, three, four, five bunches. There's one bunch where one or two grapes have gone off, but the rest of them are alright, so we'll give it a clean up. And uh, we've definitely got something to take home with us tonight. Not bad at all. I also chucked in a few strawberries, you know, latter end of, all, uh, of all October. <laughs> Still getting strawberries. What a balmy gardening year. So while I'm a bit gathering around the garden, there's one I want to bring in. And here is the biggest one I have ever grown. <laughs> Everyone else would seem to be big, bigger than mine, right? But that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. It's changing colour as well. Shall I leave it? Shall I not leave it? Hmm. Anyway, so while I'm uh, in this bed, something here looks like a parsnip that's not feeling very well. It's watered off. Watered off. Crappy parsnip anyway. Go huh? on, let's have a look, see if we can find another one to take home. Have a look at that one. Not a bad size. What's the betting it's dumpy? <laughs> no, no. Huh? Can I get them? This one's not. I can't get out. <laughs> ah, you can stay there. I'll come back to you as long as you don't start rotting on me. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll. Uh, I think it's going to be. Uh, yeah, look. I've got my other half here. Can you see? Can you get that out? I can't seem to get it out. <laughs> to the side of it. Yeah, bulbous. It's all right, I suppose. <laughs> and the little white one's rotted off. Look like they're rotten. Mm, it's rotten off. Yeah. I think what we're going to do, we're going to pull the plug on the uh, on the what do you call it, parsnips. I'll bring you back in a minute. Definitely got an anchor. <laughs> size of it. This is one this one's gone gone all the way down to Australia I think. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, so boat has knocking at the top as well. Out it goes. bring you back in a minute folks so after a lot of tugging we got it out yeah <laughs> long word a uh, big one there I tried that one broke off that one all right so whoa that one's come out Right, so that's not a bad parsnip. It could have been a lot more uniform, but I'll still be able to get some parsnip out of that. Uh, I would normally wait till the first frost, but what the heck, I'm bringing them out. And uh, just 
it's a thing as when you wait all all this time to find out you had a pile of duds, you know. Oh, that looks like that one's squatted off completely. Yeah. Yeah, so, anyway, but we've still got a return out of it, and that's positive. So, I think I'm going to bring a swede out the, out the garden. I've got a few more, and I've got bigger ones and stuff like that, but I'm going to make a casserole. So, I'm going to bring a bit of swede out, and I'm going to bring another savoy out, because the other savoy I gave away. <laughs> so, I'm going to get another savoy out, but time to get the swede out. That's not very good, was it? <laughs> Yeah, that will do. Sweet tweed. Smells lovely. Yeah. It'll polish up, that's for sure. Right, time for another Savoy. Don't need a big one. Let's have a look, see what we got. Right now, so, got a few, uh, few bunches of grapes. Two carrots, a nice uh, little Savoy, a Swede Tweed, a Honda F1 uh, butternut squash, my pride and joy, <laughs> and uh, homegrown parsnips. Some wonky, some less wonky, and uh, but still they'll uh, get processed and put in the freezer for Christmas. So that's not a bad return. Okay folks, uh, short and sweet and to the point. Yeah, the uh, light's going now so get myself home. I've got to put tea on. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.